I'm gonna show you the five easy steps to how to live stream on YouTube using OBS so that as soon as this video is finished, you can start live streaming. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel and make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. I'm curious to know why you are wanting to live stream. Are you wanting to connect with your audience? Are you wanting to increase the watch time on your channel? Are you wanting to you know, try to use those live streams to rank videos? Are you wanting to use it to just make videos quicker? What reason is it that you are wanting to live stream? Let me know down in the comments. Okay, so let's head over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to live stream on YouTube using OBS. The very first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have OBS Studio installed. It is available for Windows, Mac, or Linux and it is absolutely free. Yeah. Once you have OBS Studio installed into your computer, then if you do not see this black skin here, but you want it, all you have to do is go into your settings panel and underneath the theme under the general tab, you can just click on that and then you can change it from the default to the dark. I know a lot of YouTubers are into the dark stuff like me, so just wanted to go ahead and give you that side tip. Once you have it looking the way that you want, you want to go into your youtube.com slash live underscore dashboard inside of your creator studio. Once you are there, you want to scroll all the way down and you're gonna see an area that says encoder setup. You'll want to copy the stream name slash key. So to do that, you wanna click the reveal option and then you highlight it, copy it, and then go ahead and click hide. Now make sure that you keep this key to yourself because if someone else has this key, that gives them the ability to stream on your account and nobody wants that. Once you have your key, you go back into OBS, you go over to the right, you will see a settings option, you click on that. You'll go under the streams tab and you wanna make sure that you have streaming services selected. From the drop down here, you wanna make sure that you have YouTube and then you want to make sure that you have primary YouTube ingest server selected. From there, you are just going to paste your key into the stream key box. Once you have that set up, you wanna hit apply and then hit okay. Next, we are going to assume that you already have your webcam hooked up to your computer. If you do not, go ahead and plug in your webcam and then you wanna go under the sources menu here where it says sources, you wanna go down and you wanna click the little plus icon. When you do that, it's gonna give you a bunch of different options, which I will go into in later tutorials, but in this one, you wanna add video capture device. Give it any name that you want to. And then it's going to basically put on the screen the camera that you are pulling from. So if you get this square box, like, like I see right here, then what you wanna do is you want to click on the resolution tab, go to custom, and then you wanna select the resolution that you wanna push your video through at. Then you hit okay. And from there, there's one more step, but I'm going to give you a side tip as well. When you test everything to make sure that you have it up and running, one problem that a lot of people get when they are going live is they get an audio sync problem that happens. Um, in order to fix that, all you have to do is you have to go into your mixer option here and you will see that you have an option for whichever audio device it is that you're using. So what you wanna do in that situation is you just want to adjust the milliseconds on the audio to compensate for that lag. For me, usually between 200 and 500 usually does the trick. Once you have everything set up inside of OBS that we just went over, you wanna head over to your, back to your YouTube streaming page. From there, you wanna make sure that you put your title and your description just like you normally would for a video because these live videos, when you do them, they can rank as well. So you wanna make sure that you get everything together in your meta. And for your tags, you wanna make sure that you click on the advanced settings here. And when you do that, then you can click on basic info and then that will allow you to add your tags there as well. So once you have that part of it set up, I recommend, I strongly recommend that you do an, a private stream first or an unlisted stream that you share with friends so that you can, you know, make sure that your audio is synced up and make sure that everything is coming out exactly the way that you want to. And as long as everything is set up the way that you want to, then you go back into OBS and then you hit start streaming. And when that happens, you'll keep a eye on this up here where it says offline. And then once your stream starts going through, it's gonna say starting. And then right now it is telling me that I am live. So one thing that you can do is you can test your audio sync right here on this, or you can also test your audio sync um, by actually opening up your channel page and going to the specific URL 
of your stream, which would be whatever your channel is slash live. Then once your stream is over, all you have to do is go back into OBS and you hit stop streaming. And then from there, YouTube will close everything else down and then you are taken care of and your first stream is complete. This video is part of a playlist on how to live stream on YouTube. So if you wanna learn more advanced options inside of OBS, make sure that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if I've already made the tutorials live by the time that you've gotten here, then I will put a card up here somewhere to the actual playlist. So you can just click on that and then go find whatever topic it is that you're interested about, about live streaming here on YouTube. To see what that's gonna look like and to see what you're gonna be able to do once you're finished with the playlist, I'm going to put a link to my live stream up here at the top of the screen uh, in an info card. So make sure that you click that and then you'll be able to see how I'm currently running my streams and you know you can watch a stream and learn some stuff and you can see how I'm using OBS and the different things that I'm getting it to do. If you are not already subscribed, make sure to go ahead and hit the round icon so that you don't miss anything, including the live streams. And besides that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.